guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a pretty fantastic day, and I did some work between episodes. I got the whole wall that wraps around Nimbonia, uh, or Nimbonia, kind of laid out. It's obviously not done, uh, but it is laid out, and we've got a couple of towers that I've sort of marked out here. So the wall's going to come straight up into this, and it will kind of come along here. It'll have another tower here on the corner, and then right here is going to be a gate. This will be sort of uh, the other main entrance into the city. Uh, obviously, there's one kind of off in that direction. Uh, and this will be the, the other main gate that gets into the city. Then it's going to kind of come this way uh, until it runs into this retaining wall. Uh, but, as you can see, the wall comes to here, and the retaining wall doesn't come out that far. So, I think what I want to do is basically just move the retaining wall a little bit. We're just going to kind of scoot it out just a little. Uh, doesn't need to, it doesn't need to go very far. But basically, I think what I want to happen is... What did I do? Was it every two blocks there's a... Yeah, it looks like every two blocks there's a pillar. So we've got a pillar here. So we'll go there. And then I guess... Let's see. So... Boop, boop. That would be a pillar. Boop, boop. And then this would be a pillar. And then we'll turn it... Right here? Is that what we want to do? I think that's going to be a little weird, though, because we've got a three wide wall and pillars that are only two wide. So that's going to look a little strange. Um, hmm. Oh, come on. Get up there. There we go. Let's just bring that down a little bit so we can kind of get a better idea. Is that going to end up being a problem? I really don't think it will, honestly. I think it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, we'll just do... Or, I suppose the other option would be to just make it too wide right here where the wall runs into it and then turn it. Uh, but I think I like it better the other way. I think we'll just stick with kind of the original plan. We'll go here. And then rather than curving the wall will bring it straight over, uh, and it will run directly into here, which I think will be okay. Is that how we want to do it? Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to get this uh, retaining wall kind of fixed up and where I want it to be, uh, and then we'll get to work on the wall itself. All right, guys, I am back. We've got the wall uh, kind of wire framed out, if you will. These are like the top parts of the wall. The rest of it is basically just, you know, filling it all in. Uh, and that goes all the way to over here where it will run into the cliff side. Uh, I also forgot to mention, I did a bit of resource grinding between episodes as well because uh, we were running low on some things. So I got, I don't know, maybe... Maybe, like, 18 stacks of dark oak logs, something like that, that just kind of eyeballing it. And then I got uh, about a shulker, uh, a shulker box worth of uh, spruce as well. And I AFK'd for a little bit in range of the squid farm over there to get some more squid ink as well. So we should be good uh, on those resources, at least for the time being. So the next step is going to be to start filling in uh, all the dark prismarine, I think, behind this and actually detailing out the walls and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, it shouldn't actually be that bad. It's basically just going to be, you know, something like this. And I could save like a little bit of prismarine if I wanted to, right? Like we could... We could do it this way, uh, but I, I I don't think it's really even that necessary. Like, whatever. 
we'll we'll get our prismarine in uh and it will be fine so uh we'll go there and then once we actually get into like this level where we're um you know on the longer sections uh i think we'll just go like so uh and then i just need to build it up until it lines up with that and do that all the way along the whole wall section all right guys i am back all the prismarine is filled in so the walls all have their uh their background block so the next step is to add the detail to this portion and i find that the best way to do this is to just do a whole bunch of them at once so we'll do a couple of these together just because you know why not um i'm actually gonna need to get up a little higher for this one but super easy just a little something like this and then here and there for a slab here and here for a slab and then we've got a stair and a stair and a stair and a stair and that is one section now i'm gonna have to do that to both sides of the wall so this is, this is not going to be a fast process, um, <laughs> but uh, it's not a difficult one. It's just kind of mindless, uh, you know, sort of uh, it's it's the it's the sort of task that you do kind of without thinking about it. Well, you've got like a YouTube video or a podcast or something pulled up. Uh, so that's that's basically what I'm going to be doing for like the next. I don't know. This is probably going to take. I'm going to guess to do both sides, it's going to take me about an hour to do all of them. Because uh, we got to do all of this, all of those. Uh, one thing that is a little bit different is these little uh, sections that are one wide. These are super easy. It's just uh, a cobblestone wall and a slab. And that's it. Just a piece of cake. Easiest thing in the world. Just boop, done. So those will be quick, uh, but the wider five wide sections will take a little bit longer. And obviously I am leaving a space here uh, for the towers and the gate and all that kind of stuff, because we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to design those a little bit differently. But anyway, I'm going to get back to it. I've got a lot of wall detailing to do. All right, guys, I am back and all of the detail on both sides of the wall is done. So pretty awesome. Next step is to uh, basically do the tops of the walls, the crenellations uh, and the actual like spruce slabs that will go over top of this. So for that, it's basically just a matter of plopping down and up. Wait a minute. Um, I thought that the am I am I losing my mind? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I am definitely losing my mind. OK, never mind. Disregard. I was going to say you just basically plop down an upside down stair every other one. But then I was like, wait, isn't it supposed to be on the center? No, you silly fool. It's not supposed to be on the center. It's supposed to be every other one. Just like, you know, you've done this a bazillion times by now. Anyway, so we just need to go basically like this. And then we go boop, 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 like that. Grab another set of upside down stairs and put them like so uh this one these get a little weird but i think it'll still be fine and then you just go like this and then this section here will get filled in with uh spruce slabs so and that'll go away probably going up to here yeah 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 so that's that's basically the plan, um, but I need to do that all the way along the entire wall on both sides. I, I, I fell in a hole. 
please fly out of the hole. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that's the next step. And then basically the walls themselves are done, and all we really need to do is do the towers and the gate. All right, we have the walls like completely done. They're good. Uh, at this point, it's just a matter of actually doing the towers, but you can see here, the wall goes all the way to over here. And that's like the entirety of the walls for the city, unless I decide to maybe put one kind of over here somewhere, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I think this will probably be enough. So all we have left to do at this point is the towers and the gate, and then the, the walls for the city are finished. Uh, however, before I do that, my elytra is starting to run very low. Uh, and some of my tools are starting to run low as well. So I think I'm going to run to the end and, uh, you know, heal up my tools, basically, with that wonderful mending. And then we will dive into doing some towers. All right, guys, I am back and I've got these two towers done, I think. I'm not super sold on the roof on this one, uh, and I'm not super sold on the shape of this one. <laughs> um, tell you what, let's actually pop into spectator mode so I can show you really quick. But this is the uh, the kind of thin uh, three by three tower right here, or I, I guess that'd be five by five um, with a three by three interior. And it's pretty simple. I made use of some of the uh, stone brick walls um, and the roof is OK. I put like a little sort of spruce roof on it and I think it's like it's not terrible but it's not great either um I don't know if I should just use a different material or if it's the shape of the roof or what but I'm gonna leave it for now and you know come back to it when I've got I guess you could say like a fresh set of eyes on it because I'm at this point I'm like I don't know six or seven hours into this <laughs> uh wall building thing so um yeah, I, maybe I'm just like not uh, maybe, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. You know, you you spend a lot of time working on one thing and then you leave it for a little while and you come back a couple days later and then you have all these new ideas that uh, that you just were drawing a blank on uh, when you last worked on it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like this for now. It's good enough for the time being and uh, we'll come back to it later. And then over here, we've got a larger tower. And I like it for the most part, except uh, it gets pretty wide here, uh, which is sort of out of place. But I also kind of wanted it to be sort of out of place. So I don't know. I think, again, it's one of those things where, like, it's good enough for the time being, but I might come back and change it later. Either way, though, look at this. The wall is really, really coming together. At this point, all we really need to do is the main gate over here. And I figured that part we can do uh, a bit of together now that I've shown you what I've been working on. So let's uh, let's see. This wall and this wall are exactly the same height. It's flat all the way across here. So basically, we'll be able to do one side and then mirror it on the other. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is go four, five, six, seven. We'll go up to about here. I think like one higher than these uh, stairs. So let's just get up like so. And then I think we'll do the same here. Um, Drop it down by one and let's just bring that across. And then we'll go up again. Like so. OK, so now we've got these two towers right up here that go fairly high. So now, from there, we definitely need some sort of design on this wall. And I think what we want to do is probably go up like so and put like a stair here and a stair here and then bring this down the center because this should match kind of the theme of everything else is what I'm thinking. So I think we'll just go like this and then grab a little bit of dark prismarine and just go like so. And we'll just bring that up all the way to about there. It is starting to get dark. So why don't we 
take a nap real quick or all things of cr uh, all sorts of crazy things spawn on us. There we go. All right, rise and shine. Uh, also, I need more firework rockets. Beautiful. Okay, so that is one side, and then I think we want to mirror that on the other side as well. So we know I am basically out of stairs. Let's just make... Um, let's just make like 25. That should be enough for the time being, I think. And then I think here we went like that, like this, and then brought that down. So then here, oop, didn't mean to break that one. Oh, actually, I got to put that there as well. And then we just build that up like so, and that comes to exactly where I want it to come to. Okay, so now, looking at this, this actually looks fairly okay. Um, so from here, we need to figure out the top. So let's go around and just land up here. And what I'm thinking is right about here is where I want the... Oh, that's... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to fall down, aren't I? Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right, let's let's try to do this without falling this time. Uh, We'll go there. Okay, so in order to make that work... In order to make that work, we just need to make these into stairs instead. So we'll grab a little of this. Do some of that and just make some spruce stairs. And then we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. And that will get us up above the wall, which is exactly what we want. And then I think we can just do regular crenellations on this. Just like it was, uh, you know, what we had before. Um, although if we do that, let me think for a minute. Uh, let's see. I think we'll go with this style instead. It has the little slabs there. I think that'll end up looking better. Um, stairs, please. Boop, boop, and boop. Right? So it gives us something along those lines. And then we do the same. Like that. Okay. So that gives us one of our two towers. And those two towers uh, will basically have a gate in between them. So from there, uh, and we want this pathway to go all the way across, I think. So what we're going to do is go up. Oh, not using that. Let's go and land right here. And we're going to take our stone brick. And I'm just going to basically draw a line that goes all the way until we get over here. Like so. And then we'll do the same right here as well. Um, there we go, right about there. And like that, beautiful. And then we just build this up to here. And essentially, we just rebuild the exact same tower. Okay, fantastic. So there is the framework of the gate. Now we need to do the actual gate itself. So I think the first thing that needs to be done 
is up here. We need, I think, a line of stairs. Hmm, do, actually, do I want to do it there? I think I do. Let's just make ourselves a little bit of scaffolding here. So basically, I want a line of stairs to go across the upper, uh, the, the top up there. Just to kind of fill that out a little bit. That looks good. And we want to do the same right here. Let's just make a little scaffolding there as well. Oh, more stairs, please. Beautiful. So we'll grab that. And then it's just a matter of basically filling this stuff in. So we know that that's the top. We can then take these up to, I'd say here. And bring them over. Like so. To give us kind of this nice wall gate shape. And I'd say that that also needs to come in. Gotta sleep again, because of course we do. Sleep, please. Do, 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 do. Beautiful. How's that for a gate shape? Uh, yeah, I think that'll do. That will do quite nicely, I believe. Um, we want to go up to there, up to there. And then bring this all the way across. Beautiful. Okay. So now we need the actual gates themselves. And I'm just going to mark out. Hmm. I mean, that would work. Like you could do it that way. But I don't know that that's how I want to do it. How, how wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So I guess we could do open gates like this. Or we could do a portcullis, which might also be good. Or we could do a single door that goes... You know, something like, I don't know, that, right? Like a big, wide door. That might work as well. Uh, also, what did we make our gate material of on this side? Was it dark oak planks and spruce trapdoors? Okay, so... Knowing that, I think that's probably what we would want to use for our gate. So let's grab some of this, grab some of these spruce trap doors as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think uh, this is probably the shape that I want to go with. I think I like this, this kind of door uh, design like you see here. So let's go dark oak planks. And we said two, two, two. Right, and that looks that looks about right. Um, oh, but if we do that, we can't really do the trap doors, can we? Because we would need them to occupy block space. Like some of the block space would have to be shared. 
and that might not work very well. Uh, I don't know, maybe we can make it work. Let's just see here. Like, what if we did, like, a band here and a band here? Right? Um, you know what? I think that works. Like, it's not perfect. But I think it gets the job done. Right? Like, that's not terrible. And it does look like a door, which is what we want. Uh, and then we'd also want to build this bit up. Oh, not right there. Just kidding. Bring that one back. Eh, come back, you. Build that up like so, right? To show that, like, that's where the door is supposed to go. Yeah, I think this is fine. Like, we got, uh, you know, some of it's occupying the same... Uh, some of it is less than ideal. But I don't think it's bad. Oh, that one ended up in the wrong spot. That's an easy fix. You know, I think that works. Like, as a door, I think it's fine. It's a little annoying that I can't put a, a, a trap door right there as well. But I, I don't think it's the end of the world. So then we'll pop up here, and I think we'll put a stair there. And then up here, I think we'll go with slabs. Like so. So that would go right... Oh, man, that's hard to see. Right there. I think that's what we want. That'll give us the door. The giant gate to the city. And I think it works. And then, you know, what we could do... Um, well, actually, if we if we kind of filled that out with a stair here in the corner, like, it, it wouldn't work. Because <laughs> the, the door wouldn't actually be able to open. Um... But I think this is fine. Right? Like, I think this looks okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with it. Uh, okay, fantastic. This is, uh, honestly, like, I think that's a decent gate. All right, my friends. Well, now that we have gotten the walls to Nimbanya completely finished. <laughs> wow. We did so much today. Like... <laughs> This place looks so much closer to completion now. It's amazing what just adding walls to the city will do. Anyway, now that we've gotten that done, it's time to jump into the comment of the day. And this one says, Hey Wells, I know you said your childhood friend and best man is coming to visit. And I was wondering if any of your friends ever tease you for not having a quote unquote real job. You know, love the progress. That's from Fiona Smith. So, um... I mean, obviously, the, a lot of people uh, don't think of YouTube as a real job, and that's fine, like, whatever. Uh, as for my friends, uh, in truth, most of my friends are, like, a little jealous that, <laughs> that I'm a YouTuber, uh, because, you know, it has its perks, working from home, for example, uh, setting my own schedules, all that kind of stuff. Um, but sure, yeah, my friends poke fun at me sometimes for not having a real job, just be like I poke fun at my best man for, you know, putting his college degree to use when he has a degree in something that is completely unrelated to his normal job, you know? Um, I, I think, especially when it comes to friends and, uh, and especially when it comes to guys, I, I mean, uh, ladies, correct me if I'm wrong on this, uh, but especially with guys, uh, we like to poke fun at each other, you know, generally with my friends, uh, if if we're not poking fun at each other, that means we're probably mad at each other or something like that. Like, um, my my friend circle is, uh, that's just what we do. You know, it, it, we, we poke little jabs at each other and just kind of poke a little bit of fun. And uh, none of it's meant to be taken, you know, too seriously. But yeah, my friends poke fun at me for things, just like I poke fun at, uh, at my friends for things. But in truth... Um, my friends are, uh, are are mostly pretty jealous of, <laughs> of what I do and wish they could uh, do the same thing because, you know, when uh, you, some some types of jobs get uh, get very dull, I, I don't know that I could go back to working a nine to five 
um, you know, customer service job or something, which I have done in the past, and it is extremely not fun. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, it's one of those things. But yeah, um, sure, my friends poke fun at me for uh, that, among many other things. And uh, in return, you know, I poke fun at my friends. It's what friends often do. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it, I think, for today's episode. So... If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.